Next on TCM, Invaders from Mars. Then it came from outer space. And later, The Thing. We're not alone on TCM tonight. Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. If you're in a paranoid mood tonight, you've come to the right place. We have a lineup of sci-fi cult classics featuring aliens who infiltrate Earth either by possessing the minds or duplicating the bodies of humans. We begin with a picture distributed by Fox in 1953, Invaders from Mars. Jimmy Hunt leads the way as David, a young boy who swears he saw a flying saucer touchdown and can't understand why his parents, played by Life Erickson and Hillary Brooke, won't believe him. It's as if something has happened to them. 1953 was a key year for alien-themed sci-fi. Invaders from Mars came out in April, soon followed by It Came from Outer Space, which we'll have later tonight, and there was also The War of the Worlds. Hollywood's alien invasion started in 1951 with The Thing from Another World, which removed the source novel's element of a shape-shifting, identity-stealing alien in favor of a more humanoid one. By 1953, with paranoia about communist infiltrators living among us and out to poison our minds, sweeping the country, the idea of an enemy who looked and moved just like us took on added resonance. The striking use of color, visual design, and composition in Invaders from Mars, which you'll certainly note, was the work of director William Cameron Menzies, the veteran production designer of Gone with the Wind. Menzies had planned to make this as a 3D film. It didn't end up as one, but he did direct a black and white 3D film later in 1953 called The Maze, which proved to be his last feature film. The cast of Invaders from Mars includes many familiar faces, including Helena Carter, Arthur Franz, Richard Deacon, Milburn Stone, Barbara Billingsley, and some short actors used to make the Martian monsters look even bigger. That's forced perspective. More about the film's legacy after we see it. From Fox in 1953, Invaders from Mars. Invaders from Mars became so influential, so loved by fans and filmmakers, including Steven Spielberg and Joe Dante, that a remake was inevitable. Released in 1986 by Canon Pictures, the new Invaders from Mars was directed by horror maestro Toby Hooper, who went for a campy retro 1950s look that copied the visual style and dreamlike format of the original film. Hunter Carson, son of screenwriter L.M. Kit Carson, played David, and Hunter Carson's real-life mother, Karen Black, played Linda, the one adult who believes him. The cast also included Timothy Bottoms and Lorraine Newman as David's parents, Louise Fletcher as an alien-possessed teacher, and Bud Court as an ill-fated scientist. The screenplay was co-adapted by Dan O'Bannon, who wrote and came up with the core idea of the movie Alien. Jimmy Hunt, David in the 1953 film, has an extended cameo as a cop who even experiences a bit of deja vu at the sight of the recreated set. There was another unexpected cameo as well, the glass globe containing the tentacled Martian mastermind from the original film shows up on a shelf in a warehouse. Coming up, we go back to 1953 for another key film in the alien invasion subgenre. Richard Carlson and Barbara Rush star in It Came from Outer Space, next on TCM. Next on TCM, It Came from Outer Space, then The Thing, and later Village of the Damned. Beware the Stare on TCM Tonight. <laughs> 